Hey y'all, trying to make a video here. It's not working out really well. Remember the fodder we planted? Uh, let me show you what was going on. This is how they sat for the last six days. And take a look at the difference. No growth, moderate, extreme growth. So we can see that there is definitely some cooling effect and maybe some lack of sun there. Plus it's been snow on here, slowly sliding down. But, in this area, this stuff's going to be nice and crisp. So what I did was I obviously moved this out of here. And put it here. Where the other fodders are doing well. Here. And then we're going to do some more fodder. So I just got some more uh, used potting soil here from some old plants. And I only put about a half an inch in there. And then I use my hand to spread out the seed. And then go both ways. This is a little light. Obviously, you don't want to get this in your main gardening beds, but if you do, it's just wheat. <laughs> Not a big deal. And then I'll just take some of this extra, put it on top here, and then I will wipe the camera again. There we are. <sighs> Can you do some water in there? Mm -hmm. I also wanted to quick show you some of the pests we have in here. It looks like we had a spider mite problem from uh, some of the cannabis and other plants we had in here. It's correcting itself. And you see how the leaves coming out now are a little greener instead of speckled. I figured the overwintering in here would correct any pest problems. Uh, the one pest problem we have is uh, a single gopher in here. And we have a gopher friend specialist. Uh, Agni who needs to get out of here so the best things that are happening right now in the greenhouse I don't have a uh, thermometer on because the battery went dead but I'm gonna change it out today is these parsley's coming back I think it's a flat leaf mm. yeah it's delicious flat leaf parsley tiny parsley the obviously the strawberry doing well uh, snapdragons no no anyone's guess why that's growing we have a little mini cannabis back here. That was Jim the Electrician's. I, that's living. Aloe froze. This other succulent looks a little hurt. Back here, a little bit more protected by the insulation. That succulent's dead. Another snapdragon back there. And Lee is fine. <laughs> and we got an ivy. Can you water that one that's living up there? Yeah. Yeah, put some water in there. And then I just put a piece of that ivy down here early in the summer and it just, it rooted. So we'll have a little bit of this English ivy moving around. It's just barely alive. Yeah, that's just living on humidity. Yeah. The sorrel is doing great, but this all got eaten by the gopher. Luckily it's a perennial, so there's a little bit of root here. We can see it coming up again. The sage is doing good. What's dry? It's the ivy. Yeah, everything's dry in here. I know. I haven't been watering. This rocket. Mm, the arugula. It's doing good. A little sheltered in here. We have a celery, which is a tropical plant. I have no idea why that's doing good. <laughs> the celeriacs uh, are usually tropical, so this is bizarre. But. They're also biennial, so this root will grow, the celery root. So if you grow for a long time, you can take out a big root ball and eat that. Mmm. The arugula is not that spicy. Uh, what are you looking at? What else were you looking uh, at? Parsley in the back here in this bed with the celery root. Celery, celery root. Oh, yeah, another parsley in the back here. Really not doing good. I gotta cut that back. It's all lanky. Not enough sun. Plenty of humidity. 
um, the white kale is making it. I, I planted some Dutch corn salad that looks amazing. So this is going to give us a nice January, February crop of uh, greens. This red leaf is doing all right. We got some uh, strawberry. That endive is pretty much dead. That looks like a little bit mini broccoli in there. Mm. Time's alive. Just not doing good here with this steam. Just not working out. Okay. And then you want to water the fodder? You want to fodder to water? I wonder if we're not steamed on the inside of the camera now. So that's the state of the state. I'll bring you outside and hopefully this will clear up. State of the greenhouse. What do you think the temp is right here and there now? 55, 60? No, inside? Yeah. The greenhouse? Yeah. Am I wrong? I was I'm, thinking I'm 90. Dressed, so it's a, oh, really? 85 or really 90. 90. About 60. It's not that stark a difference between inside and outside. It's not like a sauna in here. Outside is 26. No, it should be warmer than that. Like 31 or 30. Okay, we're not, it is not going to work. Say bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us for this fuzzy experience. Fuzzy experience. <laughs> it's really fuzzy. Is that what you just said?